So you're probably wondering, how do I put these traits on my weapons? When you go into your creation screen, you're not going to see all these different traits that you can add because you haven't learned them yet. In order to learn a trait, you have to research it. In order to research an item, you need to have an item with that trait already on it. You can acquire this by looting it from a mob, finding it in a treasure chest, or maybe having a guild member craft it for you. Then you will come to your research tab in your crafting screen, and you'll choose what item you want to research, and you will look down for what items you have that you can research. If you have an item that is researchable, it will tell you researchable. If you don't know a trait, but you do not have an item available to you, available to, you to research, it will tell you unknown. If you already know a trait, it will be lit up like this, and it won't say anything on this end line. So, with research, once you have an item, you will have to come into this screen, select it. Oh, I can't do it. You'll have to come into this screen, select it, and press the OK button that you want to research this. Your very first trait that you research for any particular item will take six hours. So, for example, let's say we learned the power trait, and it was our very first trait we researched for a battle axe. So I can come back in six hours, and I will now know the power trait. If I have an item with the charge trait on it, and it has to be a battle axe, I can research it. Now, it will take 12 hours to research charged. So every time that you go to research another trait on a specific item, the time it takes to research doubles. You can combat this with some passives in your crafting skill line. So, metallurgy. This is the last four out of four skill points spent into this passive. So it reduces research time by 25%. It limits research time <clears throat> to 30 days because your eighth trait will take 32 days. Your ninth trait will take 64 days without this passive. So with this passive maxed out, no matter what, my research will never take longer than 30 days. It also allows uh, for the research of three items at once. Something to note about the three items at once is it has to be three different items. You cannot search three different traits all for a battle axe at the same time. You would have to research one for a battle axe, one for a maul, and maybe one for a great sword. You just can't do more than one trait per item at the same time. So if you know that you're going to want to use an axe with the charged trait, for example, you want to research that trait first. Because if you wait until it's your eighth trait to learn, you're going to have to wait something like a month long to research that trait. And you don't want to wait that long. So if you find yourself kind of geared towards or planning on using a specific trait for a specific item, make sure you research it first. Something else to note. Like I mentioned, my very first trait in axe will take two hours. So let's say I research one axe trait. When I go to research a hammer trait, let's say I don't know any, my first trait in the hammer division will only take two hours. It only doubles up within the same weapon. You, can only, you only need to research an item once. Once you learn the trait, that is what you know. You don't have to actually research an item again ever. It doesn't make the trait stronger. There's actually no way to research an item that you have already researched. Another thing to keep in mind when you're researching traits is that let's say you researched the powered trait for an axe. If you go to craft a battle axe with the powered trait and you have not researched it on a battle axe yet, you will not be able to know it. So in order to learn the powered trait for all your metal weapons, you're going to have to find yourself an axe with the powered trait to research, a hammer with the powered trait to research, a sword with the powered trait to research, etc, etc. When you research a trait, it's only for that exact item that you researched. So you'll, let's say you're 
you research power, not a sword. You will only learn it for sword. You're going to have to get all the different items with all the different traits to learn them all. It's also good to note that when you research an item to learn the trait, you will be destroying that item forever. You will not be able to put it back on or deconstruct it for its materials. When you research it, that item is gone. Another reason that you want to start researching traits as early as you can in this game is that there's secret crafting locations hidden all over. There's a couple of them in each zone and each set takes more and more traits to be able to craft. So for example, I'm at the Death's Wind crafting station. This crafting station, I need to know two traits. So if I come here and I know two traits for bow, and it doesn't matter what two traits, as long as I know two different traits for bow, I can craft a bow here. But let's say I only know one trait for shield, I will not be allowed to craft a shield in the Death's Wind set. So that's another reason you want to start early, early on researching. Not only does it take a really, really long time, but without knowing a great amount of traits, you'll, you won't be able to craft all those really awesome sets. There's actually sets that you need to know all nine traits in order to be able to craft. So it's pretty hard to find people who can do that, so you best get started.